on YouTube today, beating self-running generators, with the mechanism of connecting an induction motor to an AC generator head. Many people follow, but it does not work as the demonstration video. That is a way to discredit the free energy movement. In fact, inside the AC generator head, or inside the induction motor, there is an electronic circuit board, and the change of the way the coils are wound. This is to exploit high voltage pulses to accelerate the magnet on the rotor. Both induction motors and generator heads have permanent magnets mounted on the rotor. It is up to the developer of this technology to exploit this technology to exploit the pulse in which part it is used. Another name for the technique of exploiting pulses to accelerate the magnet on the rotor is exploiting the power of the back electromagnetic field, back EMF. With this mechanism alone, there are dozens of different variations. There is a specialized variant that exploits high voltage pulses in the form of cold electricity, with a charging output for the battery bank. This is also a generator that exploits high voltage pulses to accelerate the rotor to extremely high speeds. The advantage of this type is that the speed of the rotor wheel is very stable. In contrast, generators that connect induction motors to AC generator heads are also of this type, but their speed changes when loaded. Because of this, a flywheel is needed to compensate for the loss of inertia, avoiding sudden stops. Each type has its own advantages. We can all apply it in practice. So I recommend a set of books that contain all of this technology. More about the self-running generator that is said to be fake free energy. It works, but there is no way they will share this technology for free. They will leave their email or even phone number to quote a price. I have seen some people selling this whole system for over $5,000. I have shared the design of this technology in several versions. To successfully build this self-powered generator, you need to understand how it works, and be confident that it works that way. Then there is the circuit diagram of the design, along with notes, electronic components to buy. Let's call it a blueprint. A few small mistakes can lead to failure. With my instructions, the cost of the design is much cheaper than $5,000. The ease of installation can be down to $90 for all the electrical equipment and electronic components to buy. This is a technology that generates electricity much cheaper and more efficiently than solar energy. But the price is to generate free electricity for a very long time. Other benefits of this technology and the economics of the new era, new world order, will be discussed further in my forum or presented at the Overunity Generator blog. Good luck!